Howdy y'all, Caleb here. <laughs> it's skink time. I, I don't know why I've been putting this video off for a while, but skinks are an interesting unit. They have been around in our armies. I mean, obviously as long as the army's been here. But you'll see some people that are quite divided on it. Some people don't like taking skinks at all. They'll just avoid skinks entirely. Some people love the skinks. Either way, you generally end up seeing skinks in, in a lot of Seraphim lists. Even if you're playing over in Coalesced, you'll see them there. Maybe not quite as much now that they take full damage, but definitely in anything on the Starborn side, you're going to be seeing skinks. Now, years ago, you would play skinks in very, you know, small units, just trying to control the board. We saw that one list we talked about earlier this week that is definitely doing that. Um, but I think where skinks really shine is when you take a big unit of them, a, a unit of 30 skinks in this edition, can really have some interesting play. So we're going to look into that. If you already know everything about skinks and you're just here for the, for the laughs, uh, look down in the, in the description. We'll have a timestamp. Go look at how much damage these things can do when buffed up. They can take some incredible buffs and do absolutely outrageous damage <laughs> uh so let's let's look at some of the other oh there's some of my skinks uh <laughs> got lots of them so the war scroll we'll, we'll briefly touch on the war scroll it's not very complicated you can either take javelins or bolt spitters you pretty much always take bolt spitters i think because Especially now, you want to be able to take the Moonstone Clubs as well. It used to be you would always take the uh, Bolt Spitters and Shields. As you can see, all of mine are decked out with there. <laughs> uh, but now, I think the best option is Bolt Spitters and the Clubs. And the reasoning being is that they are actually pretty good in melee. The reason you want to take the Bolt Spitters over Javelins, you know, you're missing out on that plus one to wound, but... You're double the range, and that comes in very, very valuable um, in a game of Age of Sigmar. 16-inch range is huge amount for shooting, especially with something that's mobile. And uh, in, in a lot of Starborn stuff, you can make these guys even more mobile. So that's a good range for shooting there. The clubs over the shield I'm going to take because the shield, if you notice down here, the shield on the ability only gives you a plus one to your save rolls, which means you can't really go lower than a five up save for these skinks. Even if you take a sh uh, shield, because you're already adding plus one to save. If you do another plus one to save, you can basically negate some Ren, but you're never going to get these over to a four up save. They will, the best roll they will ever make is a five up save. So I'd almost just say, don't even worry about it. In this day and age, in this edition of Age of Sigmar, if these if these skinks are getting hit, they're gonna die regardless. Everything dies in this edition, so uh, you know that plus one to save here on the shield isn't gonna save you all that much. Um, so just on the base outlook here, uh, Bolt Spitter has one attack, fives and fives, no red, one damage. That's terrible. That's straight up terrible. Uh, clubs are one attack, fours and fours, no rend, one damage. Also, just abysmally bad. So, not a good war scroll. Where it does have some fun, though, is that if you have more than 15 in this unit, you do get plus one to attack characteristics of weapons used by this unit. So, that's shooting and melee. So, now you've got two shots and two hits. And when you're talking a unit of 30, that's 60 shots you're pushing out. Um, Still terrible, <laughs> but skinks take buffs really well. So their base damage here, you can see kind of the, the difference between the bolt spitters and the javelins. So 30 skinks, all of uh, 60 attacks, fives and fives, uh, is doing about three damage to a four up save. Like I said, horrible. <laughs> uh, javelins do better at five. But you've got to get them a lot closer. And generally, you're not going to have all of all 30 within eight. So it just makes it a lot harder on the javelins. Uh, plus, I want the clubs, which you have to take bolt spitters to get the clubs. So, But like I said, skinks take some really good buffs. The two that you'll generally always see with skinks is a skink priest, which gives that unit a 
run and shoot and charge, plus one to save. So you, there you go. You don't need the shields there. <laughs> and then has a command ability for plus one to hit. And that counts in shooting and melee assist because it goes all the way to the next hero phase. So a very vital part of that horde of skinks is a skink priest. Also to that is the skink star priest. Has uh, Can get you extra command points and stuff, but has a sixes do mortal wounds. So... Um, you just point this staff at a unit of skinks, and any sixes you roll to wound, do an extra mortal wound. That's awesome when you're rolling a ton of dice. Also has a good spell that you can get to it, which is Hand of Glory. You can get an extra uh, re-roll hit rolls of one, which is very good when you're rolling a ton of dice. So both of these are pretty standard. You'll all, almost always see these with skinks. Once you apply those buffs, you do get a little bit better damage. You're up to almost 12 damage versus a 4-up save, about 11.5, which is respectable, not great, not good, not anything to write home about. This isn't, you know, breaking the game here, but it's okay damage. Um, we do have a pretty high effective threat range, though, because of the Skink's mobility, 8, and their long-range shooting, 16 inches, Plus, uh, we have different ways to add to their mobility. In Fangs of Sotek, you get an extra plus three to that move in turn one. You can run and shoot from, uh, well, run, shoot, and charge from the Skink Priest. And you get another plus one to run from the Sacred Asterisms if you want to. So you have an effective threat range of, you know, over 30 inches. 31 to 34 inches, I have written down there. Um, that's pretty much the entire board in this smaller the smaller board size in Age of Sigmar currently. So you can hit pretty much whatever you want to. And that's not even counting the teleports that you have in Starborn. You can teleport these skinks around if you need to, buff them up, and then teleport them, and they can hit whatever they want. So they can, a very good unit for board control, for taking, you know, plinking damage, you know, 11 and a half damage versus a 4-up save. That, I mean, that you're going to kill some stuff. Um, so great, great all around unit, but it's not just the shooting. It's also this melee. So this melee in this new edition is very interesting um, because they are Galician veterans. They do get to fight with that second rank and it makes it a lot easier. Now they could already do that because one inch range, they're on 25 mil bases, which means if you're base to base, you can fight over the top, but this just makes it a whole lot easier. I'm still going to only assume for the number for the case of these numbers that 20 models are in range. That's, you know, two ranks of 10, your third rank behind them won't be in the fight. I think that's that's a good compromise. If you go up against the the right unit, you could probably get all 30 in combat. You know, 15, two ranks of 15 is not unheard of to get into combat. Um but we'll assume 20. So same buffs as, as before. All that stuff lasts until the next hero phase. And those clubs are hitting on fours and fours. You've got two attacks. And look, you're doubling your damage. And that's not even with all 30 of them in melee. You're, you're more than doubling your damage. You're at 24 and a half damage versus a four-up save. So great stuff there from Skinks. They do more damage in combat than shooting. That's just odd. You know, skinks have always been this shooting unit. And all of a sudden, we're seeing that skinks will do more damage in combat than in shooting. So very odd. So very odd. Well, guess what? <laughs> we can buff that up more. So a, a Stegadon with Skink Chief can spend a command point, which we haven't used any command points on them yet in the, in the fighting phase. Now... We can use it for a plus one to attacks. So now each of those clubs, their base one, they got an extra one from having 15 or more models, and they get an extra one from that command point from the Stegadon Chief. And now you're up to 30 damage uh, versus a four up save. So, you know, a small incremental change, but this is going to add up as we keep going because we're not done yet. These buffs are going to keep getting insane here. So the fun part of this new edition is that uh, we can put them in Bounty Hunters. <laughs> Bounty Hunter Battalion gives them plus one damage on their melee attacks versus Galician Veteran units. 
And so those three attacks that each of those skinks is doing in melee is now doing two damage. <laughs> All right, cool. So now we're up to 42, almost 43 damage versus a four up save. All of a sudden, these, these little guys are blending Galician veterans. Now, you may say everything blends Galician veterans in this game, and that's true, but these numbers can just get absolutely crazy here, here in a minute. You'll see them. So it's pretty fun to think that, you know, if the matchup goes right, you can be doing some massive damage. Now, 42 damage is going to kill most things. That's going to kill most Galician veterans. That's going to kill just about anything. But we can go higher. We can go more. We haven't even gotten to the, to the favorite debuff of the current game right now, and that is the Purple Sun. <laughs> How about Skinks with minus two rend? This is achievable pretty easy in our army with Purple Sun, which gives a minus one to save, and a Skink Starseer, which has a spell for minus one to save. So now we've got minus two rend Skinks <laughs> in shooting and melee. Here we're at. 85 damage versus a four up save. <laughs> uh, just, just crazy. 85 damage versus a four up save. But you know what? Let's go higher. Because we can. Because we can still stack more buffs on this. How about, how about we add on some more? Let's do some. Mortal Wounds with Curse. So let's curse something from, oh, I don't know, maybe our Skink Priest. <laughs> and let's spend a Triumph for plus one to Wound. So still all the same buffs from before. We've got Bolt Spitters and Clubs, Bounty Hunters versus a GV. We've got plus one to hit from a Priest. That's in the Hero Phase. Sixes to Wound, do an extra Mortal Wound. That's Hero Phase. Reroll Hit Rolls of One. That's a spell in the Hero Phase. Uh, plus one melee attacks from the Steg Chief. That's in combat. Minus one save from Purple Sun. Minus one save from Skink Starseer. Mortal wounds on sixes to hit from Curse. That's also hero phase. And then plus one to wound triumph would happen in the melee phase. You want to use that in melee because all because Skinks are better in melee now. <laughs> and look at this. We've got 140 damage versus a four up save. If you're going up against a 5-up save, you're over 150. 157. <laughs> against a 2-up save, you're still doing 100 damage. That's, that's just mind-blowing. All of these are, are fairly easy. I mean, probably your toughest thing here is Curse. Because that's going to be on a 4-up save, or a 4-up roll. Maybe a 3-up if you're near terrain on your side of the board. Uh, so that curse is 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 the toughest thing to get off in here. Everything else is fairly easy. So completely doable. 150 damage with skinks. And you know what? Most of that is coming in melee. <laughs> that's just, that's crazy. Skinks, melee, a force to be reckoned with. All right, guys. Please let me know if somebody pulls this combo off. That would be absolutely mind-blowing. All right, guys. <laughs> See y'all later.